He doesn't know the basement. Very not familiar with the basement. Uh, all right, commentary by Toast. And Juju Kyle. Oh, we're getting right into it. No time for updating the screen. The spear is starting off with some really, really, really good chain grabs. I mean, you say that, but like, don't fix something that isn't broken. Am I right? Like, it's working for sure. Absolutely. Now, yeah. the goon, the goon, very uh, well. He upset Evan Flo from SL early in the tournament. He's playing great. Spirit not playing too too good today. He almost got beaten by Sweet T. A little off today, as you can see. It's a very even game so far. Usually this win happened. Shocking game. Very. That, yeah, no. Went to game three last stock, like over 100%. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, Martha in very good position right here. Just needs to grab the edge and it should be a kill. Ooh, he doesn't grab it though. Spear makes it back. Marth definitely at an advantage right now. What is he waiting for? Ooh, beautiful, beautiful up there by Spiro. Yeah. Absolutely. Chain grab on Sheik is very, very, very important. Very. Some would say that. Ooh, beautiful tipper. Beautiful forward smash by uh, by the goon. The goon he uses that 06 smart attack just continuously forward smashing. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Tip of the sword. Definitely going to do the most damage on Marth. Very interesting thing about this matchup. Sheik is very well known as a Marth killer. So going in, Spiro definitely has an advantage. Uh, it does being Spiro and being good. The guys you see right there, there's a beautiful forward there. I get Marth against Sheik in the air is like, I'd say it's like 70-30 for Sheik. Because Marth also a very good character in the air. Sheik is just like those forward airs in the back airs just come out so quickly. Yeah. Definitely. Could this be a kill? Ooh, no, he's gonna make it back. It's a mistake I see a lot of new players doing. Just like kind of not spacing the guard and well enough when you're on the edge, when another player's on the edge. Sometimes it'll be too close, the tipper or the forward smash won't hit. Sometimes you're too far back and won't hit. And that's what just happened right there. Now Spiro at a pretty sizable lead right now. He's up over a full stock. Who just can't kill him right now. Can't take away this third stock. And that's really, really hurting him right now. Then that's a Spiro. Now we are evened up. Still though, uh, one hit from Spiro is gonna end this stock for uh, for the goon. Uh, right there. Yeah. Good back air. Very good back air by Spiro. Spiro in a bad position right now. This could be an early percent kill. Oh, good combos. Oh, oh. Oh, the tipper. Is that the stock? He just has to. Wow, that is the stock. The goon just totally brought back right there. Yeah. No, he did not ring the doorbell. This is almost. Wow. This is. This is very, very close. Surprising. Up smash. Forward smash. Forward air, rather. Goes for the tipper. Not gonna hit. Yeah, it was very one-sided at one point. You know Spirit's going to turn it on right now. He does not want to lose to the goon in the first game of the loser's bracket. This is, winner of this will get top eight. Or no, I believe top six. They're, this, they're in top eight now. Winner of this will be guaranteed fifth place out of the whole tournament. And the goon wants that fifth place. And that's the first game. The goon is going to go up 1-0. Yeah, unpredictable. Wow, very, very shocking first game. A lot of upsets this tournament. We've had, we've had, Evan Flo going out, winner's round one. He's still in the tournament right now. He's going top eight against Roxas, I believe. Oh, we're going salty run back by Spear going right back to Battlefield. Yeah, no hammer. No, not necessary. Game two. No. Ooh. <laughs> you can tell, there gets to a certain point. Have, I play Spiro all the time. There gets to a certain point where you can tell he's angry and he's not gonna he's not gonna lose, as evident by that zero death right there. Very, very convincing. 
Ooh, misses the second grab. Down smash. Yeah, dude, that's what that's the thing, right? The goon though can come back. Like he is he was down this much before. He was down by over a whole stock last game. He came back and won. And like the thing about the goon that's pretty funny is he's not doing anything in, like that groundbreaking. He's doing fairly standard Marth stuff, but he's still winning, which is like very shocking to see someone of Spiro's caliber having trouble with a pretty standard Marth like this. Still though, Spiro has a full stock lead. Try and make it two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, he's been a Bowser. Well, he's a fox. He was a fox. He was a fox. He was a good fox. But he's kind of like, all right, I kind of want to play more for fun. Let's do it. Let's do main Bowser. Why not? He's been doing that for about a month or two. And all of a sudden, I guess he got that competitive spirit back. He want, He picks up Marth. And he's only been playing Marth for like a week. Less, maybe. He's already doing... Takes a game off Spiro. And he might take another one. Who knows? He might win this set. He definitely could. Although Spiro is looking so, so dominant right now. Got... Yeah. Absolutely. Want to bring it to a game three. Although the thing is that we have to think about... If Spiro wins this game, which I believe he will, unless something miraculous happens... The Goon has the counter pick going into the next game. He counter picks the stage. That could be very, very important. I do appreciate, though, the Goon going for a lot of aerial stuff. Something that uh, new Marth players are usually very afraid of. They usually just uh, kind of forward smash back and forth. I know that's why I did when I first picked up Marth. He's doing a bit of that, too, but he's also... Oh, it mixing it up, definitely. Very good for, like, five days playing Marth. Very impressive. Ooh, could this be a low percent kill? That's what he needs right now, being down. Being down so far, he needs one of the low percent kills. Oh, yes, bear. Ooh, the tipper. That is the cleanest tipper you will see. Gets him with the up, uh, up B, though, to recover back onto the stage. Yeah. Ooh, goes for the counter. It's a risky move. The thing about the counter with Marth is one of his... Uh, not a move a lot of professional players don't need to use. It's very good if you get hit and, like, you counter successfully. But if you miss, you're vulnerable for a long time. And just an ease, that's like a free grab, a free forward smash, anything you want. And that's something that you don't want. You don't want to be vulnerable against Sheik on Battlefield, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Misses the forward smash. Gonna hit that one. Could this be a stock? It looks like uh, it should. No! Spiro makes it back. Good back air. Ooh, down air, ah, that was a questionable. Looks like it might work out, but I don't know how I feel about that down air back onto the platform. Uh, this is usually something you want to save when it's like almost a guaranteed kill. Ooh. Good. Yeah, really just playing everything. I think the thing is, right, he wants to take all the momentum away from Spiro. It's pretty evident that Spiro's going to win this game. He wants to take the momentum away going into the second, the third game, rather, which is a tiebreaker. Wants to take the momentum away. Want to kind of have it start at neutral ground on his counter pick. And is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And that back air might do this. I don't see him making it back right now. Yeah, that's going to do it. Game two goes to SL's very own Spiro. We are going to game three. Very unexpected. <laughs> I think most of us thought it would be over at this point. But you know what? Ooh, going to FD. Wow. Definitely known for a Marth map. Let's see what Spirit could do on it, especially for a, a Tipper Marth, as I call him. Just someone who likes a forward smash. Uh, this is a great map for him, but if Spirit gets those chain grabs, it's also a great map for Sheik because it grabs. Nothing, no platforms to interrupt. You can just grab it and throw it all day. Oh, the Goon, the Goon loves those down tilts. Could this be the first stock? Ooh, no. Oh, just needs to grab the edge right now. <laughs> he'd, ra he'd rather go for the down tilts. I don't know if that was the smartest idea, but what? That's the goon, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's doing a very good job of that right now. To a point, force smashing the shield isn't going to be the best idea, but uh, definitely, definitely a close game. Goon technically has a lead. Ooh, that forward smash could do it. Oh, the, the classic B! Ooh! Wow! 
That is, I haven't seen that since 2007. Jeez, that was a old school Ken move right there. Jumping up the B. Wow. Oh, he's, now he's doing it. Now he's like, all right, maybe this works. All right, let's try it out. All right, all right let's, let's settle down. Let's not go work on Spiro every stock. It's kind of like getting a Falcon Punch one stock and then using it at the other stocks thinking it's going to work. Yeah, it's just like, that's not, no. Like, that's a one, yeah, it's a one-time thing. Ooh, that goes him back onto the stage. That reverse hitbox, definitely not what Spiro wanted right there. Yeah. Ooh, misses the up B. Wow. And unfortunately, SD by the goon. So, slightly by the goon, right? Like, 40 or so percent. Not a huge lead by any means. Easy to come back from. I think Spiro might do it right here. That downer might cost him. That Ooh. Just when you think you know what he's going to do. Dash attack, forward smash, good combo. Ooh, the tipper, if he grabs the edge, of nope, no, he's back, he's back. Good spacing by the goon, just barely missed that forward smash. Could this be it for this stock? Oh, he just won't let Spiro get back on the stage, and air dodge will let him do that, though. This could be the stock. Uh, if I've noticed one thing about the goon's play right now, really ineffective at edge guarding, right? Like. He's basically given Spiro every opportunity to get back onto the stage that he needed, as he did right there. Spiro shakes his head like, no, you aren't getting back after that. This is game three. For good forward smash. Ah, barely misses it. Yeah, ooh. Let's see. No. This is, this is close. This, this is very close. This is way too close. Way too close for Spiro's discomfort. Yeah. This is definitely one of them. Spiro's getting, getting started, though. Once Spiro gets started, it's hard to turn him off. But at a disadvantage, Ryan, ooh, barely misses it. And then misses the forward smash. Good trade. Ooh, another forward smash. Game three. Beautiful forward smash by Spiro is going to take that stock away. Tournament stock now for Dave. Or the Goon, rather. Ooh. I, I, the Goon's throwing out the kill moves right now. Oh, the flaccid chain. Oh, he makes it back, though. Oh, but the forward smash could end the stock. Oh, that has got to end the stock. 0% last stock. Tournament stock for both players. What is this? I don't, what is this tournament right now? I don't understand. Oh, the goon. Both people very, very flustered. Oh, the chain grabs from Spiro. Spiro wants to end this as soon as That's four in a row. Ooh, misses the fifth. Makes the fifth. Oh, my God. I don't know about you. My heart's beating right now. Absolutely. Yeah, my head. I'm like, well, I'm not even playing right now. I get more nervous commentating games than I do playing. It's ridiculous. Oh, slight lead for Spiro. One forward there could end this. I believe that's the game. Great game. By both players, we will take losers round three and gar and guarantee. Well, yeah, to a to a point, he's gonna guarantee his fifth place finish. Uh, up next, I believe we have me versus Sweet Tea. And uh, hey, t hey Tim, we have a game to play. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna sign off. It's been great commentary for you right now. Hopefully, we can do more later. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna put our names on here. What? Uh, it looks like Tim's gonna be player one. I'll be player two.